Hello, this is Lee Michael Baroud. It is uh, Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. And I thought I'd make this video a little bit about uh, what it means to be uh, the ethnicity that I am. I live in the United States, in Minnesota, and uh, my ancestors came over to this part of the country around 1875. That's the, uh, as soon as tax records we could find, and uh, most people had uh, settled down in Iowa and as land filled up down there uh, eventually uh, there was no place to settle left and people started uh, coming up here the whole idea back then was uh, to push agriculture the government wanted people on the land so that they could tax the land and uh, also build a state and uh, so a lot of people from Europe came over at that time uh, Norway was the poorest country in Europe and if you know anything about Norway since then uh, they have become I believe the wealthiest or close to one of the wealthiest countries in Europe right now um, the Norwegians have a uh, surplus as opposed to a national deficit, like the United States. We've got a huge national deficit, whereas the uh, government of Norway actually takes their money, invests it, and uses the uh, proceeds, the dividends, and the uh, increase in share value to uh, fund a lot of their governmental programs. And, uh, and their huge social welfare state. Um, Norwegians today have got an awful lot of pull around the world in terms of say on uh, corporate boards uh, since the government owns huge chunks of stock in a lot of major international corporations they uh, send representatives to the shareholder meetings who advocate for more humane uh, things around the world and uh, push companies to do things that are uh, more ethical. So the Norwegians have got an awful lot of power if you want to look at power in terms of owning things and a lot of influence. I'm rather proud of my Norwegian heritage for a lot of reasons, although let me just take a step back and say that my dad's side of the family comes originally from Norway, whereas my mother's side uh, from Germany, and I'll talk about Germany quite a bit too, but what I wanted to, uh, wanted to talk about is this kind of... Uh, image that people have of, of Norwegians and what that means to me. I think that today in the world, people really don't know how to wrap their mind around Norwegians. They, they don't know where Norway is. They maybe have seen it on a map um, and they're not really sure what what to think of the people. There's no real bold stereotype out there except for maybe uh, the Swedish chef. Sweden is a country right next to Norway. At one time it owned Norway, but uh, that's another bit of history there. Uh, I'm not going to go into right now. The uh, Norwegian people probably have uh, uh, what should I say, the, the stereotypical uh, image people have of Norwegians might most uh, mostly be influenced by the Vikings. And I think this is kind of a really weird and odd uh, dichotomy, if you want to call it that, 
because um, although I know a lot of the men in, in my family, my grandpa, my dad, some other uh, Norwegian people that I've met can have really fierce tempers uh, and I could see them with a, a battle axe or something out there on the battlefield. Um, most of the people that I know in my family are most of the time very mild-mannered people uh, with the exception of that temper that can flare up uh, and, and cause them to be pretty, you know, pretty upset and act out. Um, so, you know, in looking at the pictures in uh, TV and, and movies and even in a lot of the history books, you see these pagan people who maybe have tattoos on them, long scraggly hair, they're really built, you know, like bodybuilders, and they're strong and fierce and tall and scary. And, you know, a lot of my people, the people in my family are, you know, these short little Norwegian people. They're not super short, but they're not, they don't look like Aryan Superman, if you want to use that, uh, that term. Uh, I think that comes maybe more from the, the Nazi ideal of, of the, uh, the, Ubermensch, which was stolen from Friedrich Nietzsche, who his philosophy said you, you become a, a superman by breaking your own internal ties to uh, societal norms and becoming, uh, you know, somebody of a, of a free spirit. It had nothing to do with your genetics, at least in Nietzsche's uh, philosophy, but nonetheless, um, this whole idea of Vikings or Norwegians being the, uh, the super type of, you know, these blonde-haired, blue-eyed uh, Norse gods, I, I think is just kind of humorous because uh, a lot of people in my family have hazel eyes and black hair, which really surprised the heck out of me. I, you know, and you go to Norway and you see a lot of they almost look kind of like mongrels compared to Swedes. Swedish people, you see a lot more of that blonde, brown hair um, kind of homogeny. In Norway, you see a lot of black hair, red hair, different shades of brown, some blonde. Um, but it is different. It's almost like looking at mongrel dogs as opposed to some kind of purebred dog and I think a lot of that comes from the fact the the people went out years ago on coastal raids brought back women from other lands and uh, had children so the genetics of Norway I think is pretty diverse um, and to think of us as simply a, a purely Nordic uh, race is uh, is mistaken and also there's a certain percentage of, of Norwegians or people have uh, some Asian in their uh, bloodline and people think this may have come from uh, intermingling with the Laplanders or possibly at one time Genghis Khan came as far as uh, Finland and the Finnish language is based on that uh, Asiatic language that the Mongols spoke. And there might have been some intermingling there uh, during trips to Finland. It's, it's hard to say, but anytime you've got a, a big open seaway between countries and people with the ability to sail, you're going to have a lot of folks meeting different people and um, getting together. <laughs> Anyway, I better wrap this up, but I'll talk a little bit more about my Norwegian heritage, what it means for me to be of Norwegian descent, and what the what the stereotypes are, and what I think the reality is in, in my experience.